It's Wednesday night and we got three games for you on tap. Let's get right to it. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching Delic AHL Update. First game is a blockbuster. Metalurg face off against Avantgarde. Opening stands at the host of power play. Maxim Karpov shoots from a top angle and hits the back post. That was inches away from going in. Instead, it's the Hawks who open up the score. Vladit Kachov slices his way through the D and sends it across for Reed Boucher. one nothing Avantgarde. Metalurg got close to tying it up in the dying seconds of the frame as the puck flutters in the blue fame, but it gets buried under a ton of bodies and somehow stays out. Second period now, Vladimir Brookman gains speed in the neutral zone, skates down the middle and shoots, stopped by Eddie Pascuale. The Hawks double their lead meter through the period as Simon Chistikov bearers the rebound. That's his third of the year and it's 2-0 avant-garde. Metalurg strike back with two powerful goals in quick succession. Nikita Kurstilov converts on a two-man advantage less than a minute into the third. And 30 seconds later, the puck pops right to Maxim Karpov and he hits the back of the net to tie it up for twos. But meter to the frame, Ruud Pouches scores his second of the night, 17th of the season, climbs on top of the league in goal scoring and wins it for the Hawks. Metalik continue to struggle on the road as they lose their fourth in a row. 3 2 Avangard is the final. On down south now, this is Sochi, home of the Leopards, and tonight they meet Locomotive. The host opened things up early in the first. 19-year-old rookie Tigran Yerulin shoots from mid-range and scores his first career KHL goal. But Loco tied up in the following shift. The puck slides up to the high slot and Alexander Yelesin sends a bus box in Tretiak, 1-1 of the 20. Sochi regained the lead late in the second. Andre Altebor Makam pulls up a beautiful spinorama and sets up Nikita Papagaya for his eighth of the year. What a goal! Loco bring you back to even with a powerful goal early in the third. Arthur Kayuma finds his target and it's a 2 2 tie. A few minutes later, Maxim Sholanov cuffs up the puck on the breakout and Altebor Makam shows no mercy. It's 3 2 now. Yaroslav will even it up again late in regulation. Stepan Nikulin finds room in the slot, gets the puck from Georgi Ivanov and sends this one to OT. But nothing stops the Leopards tonight. Meet after the extra period, they put together a neat passing play and Andre Alti Burmakan sends it home for the win. He finishes the night with three points and Sochi finally snapped their 12-game losing streak. This is their first win since early October. 4-3 is the final. Last game of the night takes place in Minsk, Belarus. Spartak visit Dynamo. There is no scoring in the first, but not for the lack of trying. The red and white ring the iron twice. Alexei Kolosov must be pleased with his best friends. Dynamo grabbed the lead just out of seven minutes into the second. Vladimir Alistrov scores in a 4 4 situation. That's his sixth of the season. But a few minutes later, Shane Prince breaks loose, goes for the pump fake and scores against his former team to make it 1-1. Soon after that, Phil Verani shoots from on top of the circle, Alexei Kolosov gives up a rebound, but then he absolutely robs Shane Prince on the follow-up attempt. What a save! Sparta get up front in the dying seconds of the period as Joe King converts on the man advantage and Prince draws an assist on the play. Third period, Dynamo with a power play, Ryan Spooner goes for the shot and it's right on the money. That's his ninth of the year and we tied it twos. Sparta give up the lead and then they give up two points entirely as Roman Gurbanov kills the net in the last minute of regulation. Dynamo tied the season series against Moscow as to take it 3-2 on all ice. And that's it for Adelic HL update, but do come back tomorrow for another set of six games, including Colon Red Star vs. Optimabilist and Neftekimic against Saristal. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us this Thursday.